Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's been a while. I'm back with another Detroit Beat tutorial. And this one right here is going to be a banger. For me personally, I feel like it's going to be a banger. But that's also up for y'all to decide. So let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and let me know how you feel about it. Without further ado, let's get right into it. This one is quick and easy. So we always start off with a kick. I usually get all my kicks from these two packs right here. 313 lit drum kit where you can when you buy the 313 lit VST you get the drum kit and a kit I bought from I think I had just looked up Detroit sound kit and it was like 10 bucks so I bought it and it got a lot of nice stuff in here I mean it's just something to work with and so uh first first well I want to sit down with the kick let's start off with the loop the loop sound like this I think it's cut too it's cut okay it's already cut so so from there I did uh just a quick a little pattern a full bar pattern a uh, kick it, it sounded like this what shit I can't remember I think I, I lowered the kick also in the in the piano row don't ask me why but it's on g3 just to give it like a I think I got two kicks so this is like the lower kick just to give like a, a heavier a heavier hit a heavier knock and then uh, bass this bass one basically because I got two different bases that's what that sound like right here easy um and then this would be bass two no rim shot or use a rim shot i usually don't use a clap no more or a snare i mean if i use a snare it'd be high like this but rim shots also sound like a high snare to me so i just use that and then i and then here's here's the first hi-hats just simple just a three three and then you know and then uh a perk easy you know a clav give it that spice you know we need them clavs in the Detroit beats give it that spice symbol Symbols and like tumbler bells are like my fucking specialty. That's that's what I go for 24-7. That's it. You're always here to end my beat. I think what is this one? I think I have two different ones. I think it's a lower one. Cause I won't see why it's on the piano. I'll be moving so fast, I don't know. And then uh I added a zap. Or okay, so here's the bass line for like the second half uh, Ooh. so yep so that's that's it right there and then yeah i just i layered just another like, the rim shot on top of the other rim shot layered but with an extra note added second hi-hats with a little little flair to it this this beat kind of simple it's not you know it's 97 bpm so it's not it's not like you ain't gotta you ain't gotta you know you ain't gotta over complicate it Here's another perk this perk nice I know it sounds like a little delayed right here, but it, 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 it makes sense when you when you when you hear it, when you hear it. Here's a zap. I added the zap. I don't use zap that much, but when you use it, it works. Sometimes I don't like the way it sounds. I don't even know if I like the way this one sounds. Like, yeah, you know, it's like kind of quick and it sounds weird, but I think it's cause it's cut off right there. When it's in the beat, it don't sound like that. And then I think that's that's it. And then you heard the you know what the what the loop sound like 
and then uh, so this is what the loop sound like all in all I think this be like yeah it's like two two minutes and 30 seconds usually my beats are shorter than that when it comes to Detroit it's like a minute 50 I like to keep it fast simple and usually fast and simple you know so you can get it over with you know and so I can like keep going like I knock one out go to the next one if I'm dragging it out usually it takes a, a little longer for me cause I be trying to like get too technical with the shit and I did I did I, mean, I think I mixed it I mixed it a little bit no, no I did not I don't think I needed to mix it everything usually already mixed except for the loop I always like put a little spin on it on the loop like this but other than that, it's like, you know, background noise. But usually everything, I don't see a lot of people like mixing stuff for when the instruments are already technically mixed. You know, it's not much you have to do for real. Or at least it don't sound crazy on my end. So I don't know. Everybody make everything different. But uh, let's see. Oh, you can like do that. And then, uh, well, that's the beat, you know. And this is how I layered it out. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll let y'all sit back, enjoy it, and listen to it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Leave a like. If you hate it, let me know. If you like it, if I need to improve on something, yeah, let me know that too. Thanks. This is Dang